We're on to our last Titan, children! Woo! Lots of new Pokemon around here. Oh, dope. What? Ooh. Okay, that didn't work. Hey there, Juliana. Rumor has it that the False Dragon Titan looks somewhere in this lake, yeah? Not a single person's ever caught a glimpse of it. Nessie! Uh, it sure would be handy if it just ran around crying, I'm the Titan or something. If only, right? Oh god, what was that? Uh... What is that? Is that a po- That's like- Ooh. Ah! Okay. That is horrifying, but I love it. Ah! I mean, it's amazing. What gen is that from? The dancer! Oh, it's Neo. Oh shit, I want it. Isn't it cute? Of course it's chugging. We're in water. Oh. How's the two friends leave? Wonderful! The chat's reacting to something uh, that I haven't read, but... Y'all only get like that when someone spoils something. People will ignore it anyway. Oh, then give them. Then give them hell. Hell yeah! Mine! Yes, I would like to name this fucking thing. Nate! It's fish! Look at all of them! Hold on. Fuck you, catfish. I want this. What? It's for research. Ah! These things are fucking bitches even in this game. Whatever, I'm over it. There's another one right here. It's fine. Vintage! What? No, yeah. All Dratinis, all Dratinis are, Dratinis are bitch-ass noodle lizards. Anyway. Hurricane probably won't kill it, right? Well... Okay, there we go. Nyengale! I want the Dratini! Got it! This woman will be the end of it. You guys like me. Leave me alone! It's cute, but it's a cunt. Unholy! There we go. What are those? Oh! I don't want it, but it's cute. Oh, that thing is on land now. The land sushi. There's pink ones! Titan. Ah! Um... It just got bored! Moonblast! Got numbed on! I will avenge them! This thing is mono water. Oh. Man, I wish I brought purple. Purple then. I mean, the time I did it with purple literally died in like one shot. Because purple's that much of a fucking beast. Oh, bye! Rata! Oh, tit! Stop breaking things! Hi, Arvin. Juliana, did you find the Titan? Yep. The little sushi guy got eaten up by the Titan? Oh my god, they do call them sushis. Yeesh, I didn't expect to see the food chain in action today. This food chain's got me pretty fascinated. I'm gonna dig in and make a meal out of this battle. Atta baby boy! Oh, it slammed me. Okay. Use Cotton Guard and he will do no damage to you. <laughs> yeah, fuck the squirrel. I'm Cotton Guarding myself. 
That did no damage. That really did no damage! Literally does nothing. It's literally healing me! Beast! I can hit Arvin's Pokemon! Oh, it died! We did it, Juliana. Now that Titan's taken care of, the next up on the menu is the Herba Mystica. Hmm? Whoa! That little sushi guy escaped without becoming that thing's lunch! Titan. Oh! Oh! My god! Oh my god! That thing became the fucking dragon type! Get fucked! Fool this MG! Tataru! Does the sushi evolve into anything? Look at this fucking beautiful prissy bitch that can't get her food wet. She has a dragon terra type. Um, it backfired. It's okay. It's okay. I still have my. Uh, I still have my 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 thingy. Look at how he look at how she floats, beach. Death! They do above water. Bye! Above water they always float. Look how cute that is. So cute and fluffy! I really need to redraw the wiggly tough Pokemon. It was so cute. Ugh, nice job, Juliana. That's my hardworking little bud. Wife! Maybe the Titan was both of those Pokemon together? Like some kind of combo meal. There should be some Urban Mystica inside. Let's go, Juliana. I like how the deck said that you shouldn't tug at their ears and then you proceeded to tug them. It was a sexy tug. The last Urban Mystica. Spicy! Okay, let's see what the book has to say. That's the Scarlet Book, no? It seems spicy Urban Mystica is supposed to be boost your metabolism. Gives you circulation of boost, helps flush out all those toxins along with a ton of sweat. You know what's next? It's chow time! Slather your sandwich with that tapito. And here we go! Trusty Arvin's chocolate block full of tear final herbs, super sandwich! Squeeze this batch, try it, and cry beautiful tears of friendship as you eat, okay? I love him. Too spicy! My lizard wants spice. Give Blizzard spice, gimme. Half my sandwich I will share. It's too spicy for me, apparently. Oh! Time for me to be goblin everywhere! No area of this game can keep me out now, bitch! Pet him. Baby. Come on, bud, eat up. 
What if you give that thing the last fucking bread and it and it dies? It's gonna make you all better, I promise. Julian and I really did our best to get this for you. What? That's how these games work, right? Like, you do like you do all the things right, and then in the end, it's like, turns out it was the bad guy. We're gonna play with your favorite ball as much as you want. It's gonna fucking drop dead, you know, just like we used to. Please get better. What? That's all I want, really. Baby boy, baby. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but that's kind of what happens in stuff like this. That fucking Pokeball is bugging me. I never trust these games because never, things never happen the way I want them to. Mabo, Steve. You did your best, bud. I no rata. Oh. Bella rata preciosa. <gasps> it's trying. Oh my god, it got up. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. It did it. I actually that's teeth, mama. Bud. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Arvin, sweetie. <gasps> I know about me too. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. This is so cute. Ah, I rata! I just pet my lizard. My rabbit literally died last week. I'm this close to tears myself. And then it glitched back. And then it glitched back! Tears averted! Oh. Hello, Juliana. This is Sada. Hi, Mom. What? It seems that Koridon has regained all of its powers, except the power to battle. It should not be able to climb up any vertical surface it grabs onto while you're riding on it. Nothing can keep me out now! I knew you were the right one to entrust it to, Juliana. Wow, say that in front of your kid, will ya? Ah, listen to you, like you had anything to do with it. That voice. Arvin, are you there? Son! Son! I've been searching for so long for a way to reach you. Because no one else can get into my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Juliana back to the lighthouse with you. The lab on Poco Path. I will reach out once uh, more when you arrive there. Ay. Look how cute that is! Juliana's like, Puppy! The Pokeball. I guess you probably already know. But that that's my mom. We know, honey. Always buried under her work, pursuing her own research, never at home with me. <sighs> it's the first time I've heard her voice in years, you know. How come the Pokemon professors lately have been terrible parents? Like, Lusamine was also horrible, from what I hear. And now what? The first thing I get is to be treated like some kind of errand boy? She's seriously unbelievable. I'm guessing you and Koridon probably want to go, eh? Not gonna lie, I feel like my blood's boiling, but... Sure, fine. I'll get you into the lab. What else can I do? The lab is off Poco Path. Uh, the lighthouse when you were, where you and me first met. Come on, let's get moving before I change my mind. Poppy! Mom, where have you been all this time? In the crater? I think I should go do at least do the, like that last fucking team star battle or something. Oh, watch me gobble my way out of this. Ah! <laughs> I mean, I'm planning to play Xenoblade at some point, like all three of them. I see you're almost at the fifth base. Hold up inside there's team star's last remaining squad. You fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Juliana. And Juliana Castiopeia! So you made it as well, Clive. Of course! It's the last base! I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, I owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. I'm sorry I was so wary of you at first. Well, that's all water under the bridge. 
When we're finished with this base, will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? Not quite. We still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind last of all. Do we have any leads on how to find them? I'm hoping they'll come out in the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. I see. We've come so far. Only a few more steps left. Don't let me bit down, either of you. Has your PS hung up? Alright, I never understand these dang nab devices. Thanks to you, Juliana, I've slowly but surely come to understand Team Star. I know what I need to do, and I know what my final decision will be. And if you expel them, I'm gonna be so mad. Uh, sorry for getting all polite there. Don't know what came over me. Just a regular old student. Uh. Ah, yes, I need a hair cross. I do, I do want one. I love these two bits. And uh, another Mega Man. Oh! It's confu not confused enough to chop me in the fucking throat. Mine! I love Heracross so much. They're so cute. I am naming it Mikal. You finally have the horn you deserve, baby boy. Mikal the second. <laughs> One of the games I have to play in the, the, the commission description was like... I want you to draw this, but I mostly want you to get you to play this game, and it made me laugh so hard. What commission was that? You'll find out soon enough. Oh, there she is. You're pretty skilled. Not many trainers can shrug off my Pokemon's attacks like that. The same to you, Eri, was it? Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. I'm surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gate. Don't you trust your grunts enough to put them on guard duty? <laughs> Watch your mouth. I'm here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. What a benevolent boss. Now if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on my side. I, I'm, I'm gonna go look. Who are you? Juliana, there you are. I tried started talking to this girl since she looked like she was with Team Star. Then she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. We were just battling it out. Riri, I know you'd be out here. Harmon. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? I'm fine. Honestly, no, get away from here. It's not safe. I'll take over guarding the base, Riri. You should get back inside. No, I won't back down. I can't. Oh, Riri, you need to stop this. Until the big boss comes back, I have to protect all of you in the calf squad. And everyone else in Team Star, too. That's why you should get back on the base and rest up, even for just a little bit. As the boss of the squad, I... I just can't. Riri, please, I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine, I'll go. I'm sorry, Carmen. Hey, that's no way to find off. Let me hear an Astella V Star from you, nice and loud. Astella V Star, she's cute. I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Hey, Juliana, my Pokemon and I are actually running on empty after the last battle. Sorry to spring this on you, but you think you could handle this grunt alone? Sure. Thanks. I'll be cheering you on from the sidelines. I'll protect Riri with everything I have. You ready to battle? You got it, bitch. I love your outfit. How come they get booty shorts and I don't? I want to have booty shorts instead of yee yee ass uniform. I want to be that age and that body type. I want to... Look. Game Freak, do us a favor and let us actually choose the ages we want to play as. Because, like, I don't know about you, but I ain't a fetus. They never do it. That's why I'm drawing Juliana older. In my mind, she has tits and hips for days. And that uniform minus helmet. I lost, but my defeat's not the one that matters. 
I always clap back. Their boss, Aerie, is a skilled wrestler and coaches a whole team star in Pokemon battling. Of all the bosses, she'll likely be the most alert to hostilities after our declaration of war. We might try to stop this raid in its track by challenging you to battle before anyone else. I've already met. She retreated. We're talking about the same area, right? Well, it seems there's nothing for it to know but to attack the base head-on. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this face of the operation. Time to wipe the calf squad off the map. Like, look at it this way. And this is something I recommend you, you, you guys all do. Avoid conflict at all costs. If you don't like someone, don't look to start shit, don't take dunks, nothing. Just ignore. Even the smallest stars can light up the sky when they shine together as constellations. We're the last bastion of Team Star. Losing is not an option. Hey kid, you listening? Ten, 30 Pokemon, 10 minutes. Go for it, bitch. How's that for hospitality? Yeah, the best thing to do if you don't like someone is to just pretend they don't exist. <laughs> This is a fighting type? I thought it was like a psychic. Big boys. Your existence has no meaning for me. Face your rage. Yeah, exactly. You waste a lot of energy being mean to people. Kill them with kindness or just pretend they don't don't exist. That is that is the way. Oh, what is that? Is that the flamingo you guys were talking about? That's dope. I kind of want one, but I feel bad because I love these because Dendra has these, but fucking. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, monkey! Crab! I can't believe that's a single Pokemon. That's so funny. A lot of these are birds, which is Tinkaton's specialty. That one is Tinkaton, right? Like, since I have them with nicknames, sometimes I don't get the names right. Monkey! I don't think we can hold it off much longer, boss. So the makeup doesn't come off, does it? Her outfit's super cool, though. No bros, because she has them glued down, bitch! Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. Ah! I love her. Get yourself a girl who can scream at you. Got no brows? Cause they're glued down, bitch. Yeah, it looks like a mask until I saw like her facial features move with it. This face is precious to us. I won't let this raid of yours go any further. Ah, yeesh. I give as good as I get. That's a promise. We'll see who's left standing in the end. When I first saw Lucario, I thought it was a legendary. Now I just know it's furry bait. Oh god, she does not fuck around! It's okay, Jaeger's tanky! Dan version of a pro what the fucking hell that is spooky oh tits come on what the hell it got so angry it died it's ghost fighting oh! was that good was that a sufficiently good scream Ooh. Yes. Wait, it 
it got so angry it died and then came back to life as a zombie fucking ghost monkey that was too angry. Ooh, I'm gonna have so much fun making that Musu. It's gonna- You know, like, the primate is one of my favorite ones to design. Imagine that, but worse. Beef girl. Insane hair. It's dead. Local monkey literally to Emgi to live. So if you couldn't tell, primate got a final evolution. It is a great ghost fighting type that destroys everything Akuma style. I based the primate Musu off that bitch. Louie, you evolve it by using Rage Fist 20 times, it gets so fucking upset, it dies and gets stronger. HELL YEAH! No, it actually died. I refuse to lose, so please lend me your strength. Who's gonna win? Car or Tiny Gay Eevee? Yeesh! Sorry, JC! Someone had to pull a Jaeger! He's in the party! Ay, pobrecita. I'm so sorry. I think I went a little too far. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my lady. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. And I could never have evolved my Pokémon without you, Eri. Even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See? Nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star on the whole team. <laughs> Come on, quit being silly. Um, just one thing. We've been training for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Ah! I am sorry, y'all really should take a break. I'll go for a run while you rest up, Aerie. My lady, we four have each trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. Thank you for your concern, Atticus. But lately, I feel like I can take anything. Even if I'm really tired or I feel like crying. Remember that time we got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our... Our very own star badges? Well, I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. I gave it my all, but it wasn't enough. <sighs> I wasn't enough. You showed amazing strength. Tall! 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 Big. Tall. Booba. You just noticed? Mm? Look, I get flustered by pretty women, okay? Even the code didn't require me to give it to you. I'd want you to have this. That's cute. I want to be your friend and also see you without makeup. Yeah, this is definitely a pelvis crusher. I know you're part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokémon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor and look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just... really... Ah! Looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So, what did you want to ask me? You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Aerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that. Well, alright, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete. She's really pretty, too. It took her no time at all to become popular at the Academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everybody liked her more than me, bitch. 
Oh, let me guess. You started to pick on her. Pretty much. I got our classmates to join in, too. We were all so stupid. In the end, kids are always fickle. Once the thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it, but then Riri, she chose to help me even though I'd been so horrible to her. She told me she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. As someone who was bullied in middle school, yeah. And she invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that, what a kind girl. Aw, oh, Riri might be my favorite. She really is, and joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun? There are rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you really think that's true? So, we're the bad guys. Uh, no, I merely... Riri and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please, don't take away our greatest treasure. She's crying in the back. <laughs> Aerie's super cute and I love her. Juliana, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Aerie's star badge? Without this boss, the calf squad should be hair's breadth from disbanding. So Aerie was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine that'll leave Team Star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should soon be back attending classes at the academy. Nice work out there, Juliana! Is that Clive I hear? Castiopeia! Well done to you, too! Thanks. Now about your reward, Juliana. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone. As promised. Hell yeah! Oh, that reminds me. I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed, you can go ahead and give Juliana her bonus reward now. What happened to Penny? At long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Where? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. Their true identity of the big boss is me. It's none other than me. I mean, I knew it, bitch. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it for you for so long, but the right moment never came. <sighs> I'm the one that formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends. And I treasure them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Liana. I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clyde. Understood. Then I'll see you both there. So, Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it possible. I saw it coming from the second that she fucking called me. But with this revelation, I might just have an inkling as to their true identity. It's Penny! It seems we'll find our answers at the dark in the academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best as we can before heading over. For me, it's a nap. Now that you've seen all the Team Star bases, I can tell you this interesting fact I hope you haven't heard. The five bases are named after the five brightest stars in the constellation Cassiopeia. Neat, huh? That is pretty neat. Guys, question. What is the order, or what order would you recommend I do the endgame stuff? Le Team Star, League, Arvin. Okay. Yeah, Arvin seems to be the most story-heavy one because it has to do with my lizard. You can alternate between League and Star. Since I like- I since I want to see what the deal with Penny is, I think I'm gonna tackle League first. Then Team Star, and then I'll do Arvin. For now though, Mama has to get back to work. Thank you.